try to get an even sound. What do you do when you get a new student who couldn't sit still and was begging the teacher to teach him, you know, you know, the A-team theme? Oh, oh, yeah. I go through several versions of heart and soul every week, or at least the beginning of it, before I can calm them down. And it is boys in particular who are hotwired. We all know that. There are some students who, just because of their background and experience, they're not interested in learning classical literature, and so you employ the art of compromise. Many of my students play in rock bands and other things, and if they get stumped, they bring their music and we will boogie down for a while. Generally, we stick to technical studies such as Cherney, scales, arpeggios, and classical piano literature. There have been a few occasions when I broke my own rules and taught all popular music to students who just would not learn anything else. The student today we're going to see, his name is Andrew. Can you tell us a little bit about him? Andrew Cameron, he is uh, a third grade student who plays well above uh, the norm for his age level, considering age versus experience. He's uh, definitely doing uh, upper intermediate level literature uh, at a young age, and so he's performing uh, well above average. Can you uh, bust a little for us? Play a little? No, no you don't want to play? Okay. <laughs> How did you end up here in Sumter? Because we, uh, we just drove through Sumter right now. It seems like a pretty rural area. Well, I'm a native of South Carolina. I was born here. Actually, I came to Sumter from the Azores off the coast of Portugal, where I was uh, a music teacher there, and became homesick and came back to South Carolina and ended up in Sumter. I want my students to benefit from my own experience uh, playing in recitals, and I tell them some of my horror stories about when I was playing Beethoven Sonata in uh, E flat and came out, sat at the piano, and banged an E major chord, and then wondered what I was going to do next because I was a half step too high. Uh, and so I looked around and then started in the right key and went right on. So students have to learn to recover from mistakes. What do you hope to? Uh do when you grow up? I don't know. Do you want to be a professional piano player and play in big concerts? No. No? <laughs> yeah. Any idea? You want to be a fireman? What do you want to do? Just be a golfer. A golfer? Shakara. Do you know what Shakara is? It's like in Hawaii, that's how they say hello. You can give a Shakara to the camera. Shakara! <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Thanks. Did you like my A-team, dude? Yeah, that was great, dude. Play the rest of it. I know you can. <laughs>